Hi, Sushong. Hi, Lena. When I'm in my car behind the wheel, I need to stay focused on the road. That is why voice is such an important modality, especially in the car. Now, with the evolution of LLMs, how would you imagine could that change how we interact with voice in the car? I believe that LLMs and generative AI can help customers interact with AIs more naturally. For example, uh, current voice assistants, uh, a customer would need to learn the commands that actually work. As a customer, I can say, increase the temperature by two degrees. And the model would understand that because it was trained to do so, sometimes with deterministic rules. And in the future with LLMs, a customer could say, make it cozy in here. And the LLM can infer that cozy means I want to have a warmer environment in a car. Mm -hmm. uh, the LLM could then pull my previous uh, behavior so that uh, it learns which temperature I actually uh, prefer and set it to the exact degree that I prefer personally. And with that, the AI becomes a, truly a part of the car and can become an orchestrator for tasks that I want to complete and information that I want to get while I focus on the road ahead. You just mentioned that the AI could become an orchestrator in the car. What do you mean by that? In order to be really helpful for the customer in the car, I believe that the LLM needs to get context from the car and then be able to actually take actions on the customer's behalf. And in that sense, it acts as an orchestrator for all the possible actions that it can potentially take. And if you think about it in a modern car, there are so many functions and so many interesting things that it can do that it becomes a thousands of API problem to solve for the AI. Which action do I actually take in that moment to be helpful and to uh, do the thing that the customer actually requested and not distract the customer from their driving task? Does that mean that in the future we'll be able to get more complex questions answered by voice assistants? Absolutely. I believe that customers will be able to give more complex commands to the assistant. For example, navigate me to work and play my favorite playlist. And both yeah. in one sentence. Both in one sentence, exactly. Mm -hmm. And help uh, customers discover things. For example, what I would love to use in the future is uh, that the voice assistant helps my wife and I on our road trips to discover local cuisine. I'm a meat eater, my wife is a vegetarian, we, ha we drive an EV, so it's often very difficult to find the right spot to eat and to charge our oh, car. I can imagine. So things like uh, find a great restaurant with local cuisine and a vegetarian option, and I want to charge my car there, mm -hmm. that would be something I would love to use. That sounds like the possibilities are endless. What are the things to get right in order to create a truly customer-obsessed experience with LLMs in the car? I personally believe that we need to get three things right. Mm -hmm. One, information need to be accurate. Two, actions taken on behalf of the customer need to be reliable. And three, responses should have low latency and come fast. Thank you so much, Sishong. If you were a voice AI, what would you be like? Oh, that's a good question. I think I would be fairly straightforward, mm -hmm. a bit sarcastic, and probably a know-it-all. I love that. 